Good morning. Um, this is going to be my first attempt at doing an online lesson. Um, this is what it has come to in uh, this whole coronavirus pandemic. So um, you're going to see me probably wearing t-shirts like today. Um, yeah. So anyway, um, I am working out or trying to figure out how to do assignments in Smart Music right now um, with me registering for the free version for educators and allowing um, students to register for free. Um, I don't think at this time I'm able to um, assign make assignments in my classes. I'm trying to figure that out. I have contacted the help center and haven't received a response back. Um, but I believe that as a student, you can go in and once you join the class and click on free selections and I searched um, all of the band pieces and they're available. Um, since I'm not a student, I can't go in and see what that means. If I can listen to it or, um, do the normal things you can do with smart music. So I'm asking that if you have joined the class, go ahead and try that out. Um, and you not only can play the music that uh, we're working on in class, but you can choose other selections and learn those as well. <clears throat> so uh, my first lesson is just going to be a rhythm lesson. So I went to Target and I purchased a, a dry erase board and, um, I'm going to use that for the time being. So the lesson that I wanted to do on rhythm today, I think we're all pretty um, adept at the basic rhythms. So we know that um, in 4-4 four, four time, that's our most common time signature. Um, so it's also, and we know that in 4-4 four, four time, there are, go ahead and sing the song with me, four beats per measure, and the quarter note gets the beat. We're all good with that, right? Okay, so um, today I wanted to talk about, or this week I wanted to talk about what a dot does to a note. Today we're gonna to start very basic. We're gonna start with a dotted half note. So we know that in four four time, there are four quarter notes in each measure, each of them getting a beat. So if we wrote in our counts, that would just be one, two, three, four. Um, we also know that we can um, replace any of those with rests. Um, we can double the counts, and then we would have half notes. Remember when we're writing our counts um, for extended note values, the first count we use a big number, and then the counts help through we use small numbers. So this would be one, three, we can replace those with half notes as well. And then we know that a whole note gets the entire measure, because there's four beats, in a whole note in 4 4 time. So, <clears throat> so we have notes that are one beat, notes that are two beats, and notes that are four beats. Now, to give us the uh, ability to have notes that are three counts, we add a dot. When you add a dot to any note, it adds half the value. of the note to itself. So um, we can't do this in 4-4 four, four time because there's only four beats per measure. But say we were in 8-4 time or 6-4 time or something like that. If we dotted a whole note, that would be six counts because a whole note is four counts. And then half of four is two, so dot a whole note is six counts. So if we dot a half note, that's where we get our three counts, because the half note is two counts, 
f of 2 is 1, so a dotted half note gets 3 counts. In 4 4 time, you can see a dotted um, half note at the beginning of the measure or the end of the measure. So we're in 4 4 time. If we start the measure with the dotted half note, we have one beat left. That, that count can be filled with a multitude of different kinds of notes notes or rests. We could put a quarter note. We could put a quarter rest. We could put two eighth notes. We could put an eighth note and an eighth rest, and you get the idea. <clears throat> But each measure has to add to four. So if we have three beats that a dotted half note, um, if we have three beats with a dotted half note, that means that whatever else is at the end of the measure, it needs to equal one beat. It can be four sixteenth notes. It can be an one eighth note and two sixteenth notes. Whatever um, different variations, um, as long as the remaining beat is one count, is worth one count. So often, when we are sight reading a piece of music, the band will come to a dotted half note and they only hold it two counts and then it's thrown off for the rest of the measure. And sometimes the rest of the piece. So it's three beats long. Um, you could have a dotted half note at the end of the measure. That would mean that at the beginning of the measure, you would need something that is one beat long. So going with the obvious or the easy choice, you could have a quarter rest or a quarter note. So if we wrote in the counts, you would have big one in parentheses, big two, little three, little four, because that's three beats long. Or one, two. Um, again, you could put two eighth notes, um, an eighth note and an eighth rest, or eighth, race, eighth rest and an eighth note. Um, you could put sixteenth notes, whatever you want as long as that first count is one beat. So that's how a dotted half note functions in 4-4 four, four time. Um, since a dotted half note is three counts when there's a four on the bottom of the time signature, um, we can have dotted half notes in any time signature with a three or larger number on top. You can't have a two or a dot a half note in two four time because that would mean there's only two beats in the measure and a dot a half note is three beats. But we could have it in three four time. It would take up the entire measure. And then we would have something in the next measure. So forth. Um, we could have, I showed you four four. We could have dot a half notes in five four time. I would need another extra two beats, <clears throat> and so forth. I could do it in 6-4, and there's I could go on for days. Just know that when there's a 4 on the bottom of the time signature, that means the quarter note gets the beat, and any um, dotted half note that you see um, with a time signature with a 4 on the bottom, the dotted half note will get three counts because the half note gets two, and then the dot adds half of two, and so that makes it three counts. That's all I got. Um, I'm going to see about creating some rhythm worksheets that have to do with dotted half notes um, and post those and you are welcome to complete those and um, continue learning about and getting better with dotted half notes. All right. See you guys. Bye.